right? Sure. New tonight, there's a new vision for the future of transportation, creating a lot of buzz. Our digital reporter, Alexander Bach, who's here to tell us about the new futuristic, futuristic way to travel that we could actually see in our lifetime, Alex. That's right. This may just be the closest thing we get to teleportation. And the brains behind it say they want the public's help to bring it from concept to reality. CEO of Tesla Motors, Elon Musk, is working with a team of investors, engineers, and the like to develop the Hyperloop. This high-speed air rail was originally designed for quick transportation between two major cities in California. But now, Musk has a greater cross-country vision for his Hyperloop. In theory, the Hyperloop would be able to take passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in a mere 35 minutes. No wheels, try air bearings. Think of the basic principle of an air hockey table. The rail's passenger capsules would have a propulsion system, enabling them to accelerate to speeds of up to 700 miles per hour. The cost to build the system? A cool $6 billion, and that's just for the portion between San Francisco and L.A. Tickets would be cheaper than airlines, too, around 40 to 60 bucks. Now, the Hyperloop team just published an extensive report with more technical details, and I have it right on our homepage at WXYZ.com. Glenn to Stephen, pretty neat that there's such a big backing for transportation like this. It's awesome. Well, we clearly have to do cool. something. Yeah, we got to do something. The yeah. rail system is just so antiquated, uh, especially in the United States. You got to get to high speed rail or this. I think that's cool. I wouldn't want to be the first person to test it out, though. I'm just, just saying. saying. It's like a variety yeah. of those pneumatic tubes at the grocery store <laughs> or the bank, you know? Yeah, yeah. The, the check flies exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what so it's like. Get the bugs out first, Alex. I'm with you. All right, thank